also wanted to play out for you what happened last night over the banquet table, the big Dawat that was hosted by President Draupadi Murmu for all the G21 leaders, where the star ingredient was the Indian millet. And all the Indian millets, well, they were the hero ingredient across dishes. And there was a reason, there was a message in it as well. Take a look at what was served up to the world's biggest. Welcoming the guests to a sumptuous feast. For leaders, delegates at the official G20 gala dinner hosted by President Draupadi Murmu. Ushered in gracefully to a dining experience like no other. To a culinary journey deep into the heart of India. The menu tells a story of unity through taste, celebrating the diverse traditions and customs that make up India. Uh, naturally, the theme, as the military all know, uh, has been going on uh, for last since the United Nations uh, uh, decided. Uh, we took ownership of it in a big way, and all hotels, all chefs uh, from uh, all across, uh, they have been creating. So uh, when this uh, started. Uh, at our part, we started uh, creating a millet khazana and our repertoire of uh, millet dishes uh, runs into hundreds uh, today. In today's uh, menu, what is uh, there and uh, what, uh, uh, what has been created uh, by great uh, chefs, I, I would uh, say, is, uh, is something that is available from all over India, a vegetarian feast, which captures essence of Indian food, diversity, and also with internationalization of that in terms of presentation. India's special tribute to millets with all their unique nutritional and agricultural significance. A tantalizing starter patram. Crispy foxtail millet leaf bites topped with a delicate yogurt sphere and a burst of spiced chutney. A visual masterpiece for the main course, Vanavarnam. A jackfruit gillette served with glazed forest mushrooms. Accompanied by crunchy little millet crisps and aromatic Kerala red rice. Whenever there is some theme around it, whenever there is a theme, that theme is overplayed. So in some sense, it's a year of millets, that theme is overplayed. That is uh, one uh, part. And I, I think uh, not not always uh, when you when you see something, uh, it's uh, while it says uh, you create more conversations around it. Not always it is if you look at the whole composition of meal, the, the percentage wise maybe 10 to 15 percent of what you would eat. There are other uh, elements. So uh, when there are vegetables, uh, so there is uh, jackfruit uh, that's uh, there. Yeah. Again, uh, something uh, which uh, India takes ownership of, rice from different parts of India. So, Mata rice, uh, red Kerala rice that you uh, uh, see, that's uh, diversity uh, there. There's Ambe more uh, rice from Maharashtra. Again, there is uh, diversity. It's diversity of uh, dishes, ingredients uh, that India is famous for. Mumbai Pao with its hint of onion seed and the sweet cardamom flavoured Bakar Khani. An opulent finale Madhurima, pot of gold. A cardamom scented barnyard millet pudding. The guests offered a selection of India's finest beverages. Kashmiri kava, filter coffee and the beloved Darjeeling tea. Pan flavoured chocolate leaves to add a sweet note. Chief Ministers of several states including Ekna Chinde, Nitish Kumar and Mamta Banerjee alongside several Union Ministers attended the gala dinner. President Draupadi Murmu expressed her pleasure in hosting the G20 delegates under the motto of Aditi Devo Bhava. A night of culinary wonder after a day of diplomacy and engagements. India shares the heart and soul of its cuisine with the world. Bureau Report, India Today.